Welcome back. It's been a while. Around September, I was getting really fed up with Reddit's post saving. I would see a nice post, want to save it for later, hit the save button, it's all good so far. But then, going back through my saved post was just a disaster. There was no organization, the page was constantly reloading, it was just a mess. At the same time, I was getting more familiar with programming, and I'd created a game. I know, it's rough, but it was something, and I had a healthy dose of beginner's confidence. So I decided I wanted to create my own app, a solution to saving posts on Reddit. So I embarked on this journey with copious amounts of unearned confidence, a rough bundle of ideas, and Stack Overflow at the ready. At this point, I knew Python and, well, nothing else. However, my idea was relatively simple. An app with folders of links that could be easily accessed and edited. Just imagine browser bookmarks, but on steroids. I didn't really have a plan to accomplish this, but I just ignored that. What I really wanted was to make an interface. I opened Google and I searched Python GUI. And well, it all looks pretty bad. Real rewind to the 90s here. And well, I do appreciate the classics. This was not what I wanted to make. I couldn't give up yet though and I eventually found something that looked decent-ish. Hey, props to this guy. This is far better than anything else I saw. I got to work creating a simple interface, just messing around. It worked, I guess, but it wasn't great, and I didn't see how I could effectively create what I wanted. I was pretty discouraged. Now, I'd been spending a lot of time reading and watching programming content, and being the apple sheep that I am, a lot of it concerned Mac OS and iOS development. It piqued my interest to research a bit more. Later that day, the Python code got sent to the trash. I decided I was going to use Swift, for better or for worse, and this decision changed everything. Swift really was a new world of programming. Gone was the easy syntax of Python, but this came with more control, more access, and more tools to create my app. I went through some tutorials, learned the syntax, and started to develop my plan. It began with a sketch, then another. I made some digital art, created an outline of my process, and began to refine my ideas. There was a bit of a recurring theme after a certain point. A sidebar of folders, which reveal a list of items with controls that appear when hovering. With this in mind, I began my quest not knowing half of what was to come. I decided I wanted to develop my app in SwiftUI, a newer UI framework directly from Apple. Now, there are many, many people on the internet who advise against this decision, but uh, I was unaware and I didn't really care. I watched a few tutorials and got right into creating my app. I jumped into Xcode and started coding with little regard for style or future organization. Initially, this worked out alright. I created a link display sheet, made a list, and eventually implemented a sort of favoriting system. While there were certainly struggles, I was making good progress. Of course though, this is programming and nothing is ever perfect. When the app stopped, everything was deleted. Unrecoverable. Even worse, there was no easy fix. My structs just couldn't hold data for that long. I eventually caved and rewrote the entire link containment system and it was all working pretty well. I also began to settle on an app name, later. Now this isn't completely set in stone, but I think it fits well. If I'm way off here though, please let me know in the comments. At this point, I was continuing to get a bit smarter and finally added a GitHub repo and source control to the project. This made my life way easier as I could finally roll back mistakes and missteps. Of course, pretty well is relative. There was and still is a ton of work to do. But before you go, here's the app as it currently stands. If you would like, the source code is posted on GitHub. 
so you can see my terrible handiwork in person. I currently have an alpha release available for you to explore, if you so choose. There is still a lot of work to do, so I'll outline just a bit of it here. I want to add searching, custom sorting, editing functionality, an improved about screen, sharing both to and from the app, an app icon, let me know if you know anyone for that by the way, branding, and much, much more. Turn on notifications if you want to see future devlogs and find out when the full release sits because I am very excited for what later will become. If you've made it this far, thank you. I know I've been very inactive on YouTube, but I'm slightly less busy now, and I plan to continue with more videos. If you enjoyed this and want to see more, subscribe. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.